Hey guys, this is Chase, that guy with the gloves. Well, here we are again, San Diego Comic-Con. Thanks again to Ringside Collectibles and Mattel for showing off everything that you guys had over the weekend. Truly some awesome stuff here. I, oh man, at first I wasn't too big on this year's Comic-Con. I thought there were some good figures, but nothing that like truly wowed me. Well, Mattel, Ringside Collectibles, Comic-Con, you guys pulled it out at the last minute. You showed off some stuff. You showed off some renders and some things we can really look forward to. I'm super excited about the WWE line heading, you know, heading into the new year and stuff. There are some things I want to gripe about. We'll get to those in a little bit. But first off, let's kick it off with probably the most important reveal Mattel did throughout the entire weekend. And that was this. Entrance greats are coming back. They're going to be in elite form, and we're getting the very first ever Kurt Angle Mattel figure. This is one that me and my boy Captain McKay Random, we've wanted this angle for so damn long. Debut attire, Captain America style outfit with the hair, gold medal, love it. Here's another figure I think looks pretty damn awesome. TJP with the Cruiserweight medal, Cruiserweight championship. That championship is looking slick, man. I will say, I think BEW did a lot better job with his custom, but hey, that's a custom. But totally, he nailed the shoes, but I'm seriously looking forward to this TJP figure. Ringside Collectibles is continuing their exclusive line with an NWO Wolfpack Macho Man. I love this figure. It looks like they're reusing the Defining Moments head sculpt. That's fine. I freaking dig the, the red and black Macho Man. Gotta complete that Wolfpack, yo. We're getting some new NXT Elites that are going to be Target exclusives. This one is the new Asuka. Not feeling that face. It was fine on the Elite 47, but man, they totally botched it. The paint on it does look pretty good on her outfit, but man, they got to fix that face. We're getting a new Shinsuke Nakamura with his Captain Hook outfit. I'm liking the new face sculpt. I think it looks okay. We're getting the Revival, Dash and Dawson. I think their bodies are a little too skinny, but that's just me. Um... I'm loving those NXT tag titles. I think I'm going to skip on the then, now, and forever um, elite American Alpha and just hold out for the revival. Next up is the Walgreens exclusive, Sasha Banks, and she's going to be the first women's superstar to come with the Raw Women's Championship. It's looking pretty good. I'm liking the paint on this figure. Toys R Us is getting a new exclusive, AJ Styles from WrestleMania 33. Damn, that's a slick looking figure. I cannot wait to get that, man. Next up, Virgil. Virgil is getting his own exclusive figure. I don't know where from yet, but man, I really love the way this looks. My million dollar man needs his manservant. And Virgil, yo, somebody $10, bro. Uh, here's some basics for the NXT Target uh, exclusives. We've got Authors of Pain, looking pretty damn good. But come on, can you fix my boy's wrist over there? What are you doing, Mattel? Got Bobby Roode. I really wish this was an elite form. I'm going to skip on it. Eva Marie, it's a good looking figure. This is the best Eva Marie they've done so far, so I might, I might pick that one up. Oh man, this one hurts. DIY, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, great figures. Definitely picking them up though. Cannot, I really hope they get elites. If not, hopefully I can make some customs. This is probably my figure of Comic Con. This Alexa Bliss from Elites, I think Series 52. 52 or 53, you'll have to forgive me. I think 53, but damn, that is spot on. That is how she is going to look. It's not a prototype. It's the final production. I love it. Next up is a figure that's got kids. He's Slater completing your tag team with uh, uh, the Elite the Elite 50 Rhino. God, I keep, keep forgetting that one, but that, that Elite 50 Rhino sucks ass, man. But damn, this He's Slater, I love it. Definitely picking it up. Got a brand new Kevin Owens. New head sculpt. I think this is probably the best one they've done for Kevin Owens so far. It's got the Kevin Owens uh, Raw's War Tribute, uh, the Kevin Owens Show Raw's War Tribute shirt. I love it. He's going to come with the Universal title. Red, red and black shorts with the white trim. I love it. And he's got kick pads. Got the Miz from SummerSlam last year with a Phantom of the Opera gimmick. I love this outfit. This is a definite must purchase. Totally nailing the Miz figures recently. Got Chris Jericho. I've already got the ringside collectibles one, so this one's a pass for me. Got Big E from the New Day, and then from Series 52, we've got Kofi and Xavier. I wasn't the biggest fan of this outfit on the New Day. I'm probably going to skip it. If I see it for a markdown price, then I'll pick them up, but for now, I'm skipping on them. Got Seth Rollins from SummerSlam last year in his Tron outfit. I love it. Definitely getting that. Ken Shamrock. 
I love the outfit. I love the robe. I hope it's not a final version of the robe, though. But, man, what did they do to that face? Ugh, it's nasty. D'Lo Brown, you've seen this one a bunch. Definitely picking it up. I love that chest protector. Braun! This new Braun Strowman Elite with the stretcher. Damn, that is so freaking cool. I need that stretcher, dude. And that Braun Strowman Elite. Basic series, Corey Graves. Got the tattoos on his fingers and a pretty good-looking head sculpt. Got these new basic series coming out, and these are the ones that everyone was just losing their minds over because they are removing articulation from the basic wave. They're cutting off the shoulder joints, and they're cutting off the uh, posability in the feet. So there's going to be two less, or actually four less points of articulation on the basics going forward, it seems. Got Miss Elizabeth from the Then, Now, and Forever series. She is looking beautiful. Uh, Jason Jordan, Chad Gable, uh, going to have to skip on these guys. The only reason I would even pick them up would be to get the NXT Tag Team titles, but they're already going to come with the Revival. I'm hoping we get a better Chad Gable. And, hey, congratulations to Kurt Angle on his, on his new baby boy. Seth Rollins looks awesome picking that up. Isaac Yankum. Oh, my God, that's so freaking goofy. I know how much Kane, Glenn Jacobs, hates this, but, man, I don't know. I might pick it up. It's just it's too funny. So here's another look at uh, one of the new basics, Seth Rollins in his attire from WrestleMania last year, or this year, sorry. And it's, it's his gold Kingslayer attire. You can see right there, no articulation in the upper shoulder, or the upper bicep shoulder area, no articulation in the feet. I really want to hear Mattel's thoughts on this, but I'm hoping it's a cost-cutting measure so that the elites are better. Speaking of that, new Bray Wyatt totally looks awesome. I'm going to pick him up because I want an updated Bray Wyatt. We haven't had one of... He hasn't had an elite since Elite 36. Travesty. New Becky Lynch, straight fire. I love this figure. That's probably her best head sculpt to date. The hair looks great, and I love the outfit. Probably pick up two so I can do a head swap on my uh, Elite... Uh, the, the Elite 49 Becky Lynch. Loving this Batista. Damn, this Rhino looks awesome. Way better than the Elite. And I hope we get an updated Elite. I love this Sting figure with uh, from WrestleMania 31 where he's missing part of his makeup and stuff like that. I think that looks really cool. Could also be Night of Champions Sting, but I'm going to say WrestleMania 31. Rich Swan. I love this figure. I love the wingtips on, uh, on his trunks. This, this, for some reason, his coat here, it looks like a reworked version of the Ringside Collectibles exclusive uh, Balor Club Finn Balor. It looks like a reworked version of his jacket. I don't know. Just, you know, white. Tyler Bates. I think this is a pretty good looking Tyler Bates. It's a, you know, got the mustache and the hair. Looks okay. Loving this European Championship. That's the main reason why I'm picking up that figure. I'm hoping we see Pete Dunne soon. And I'm loving this ring. I'm going to have to pick it up. The Elite Main Event Raw Ring or whatever. Defining Moments Chris Jericho. Vengeance 2001. It's perfect. I love it. Got to get this damn Goldberg figure. Really looking forward to it. And hey, look. Office chairs. Who doesn't want office chairs? I want office chairs. Here's the new Mattel Hasbro flashback wave. Throwback wave or whatever. Like the way this Mankind looks. I uh, kind of wish they would have retooled the, the shirt though. Kane, this is perfect. Uh, it's sadly missing his belt, so I guess it's not perfect. Triple H, uh, it's a pass for me. I don't really like the jumping gimmick. Stone Cold, pretty good looking figure. I wish he would have had his vest on, though, so what can you do? Wrestle Buddies are coming back. We got Finn Balor coming out. Um, I forget what the other one that was announced, but hey, you know what? This kid certainly likes it. So, yay, good on you, buddy. Storm Collectibles, they're hitting us again with another Hollywood Hogan, this time in a red and white attire. So hopefully just what, just a Storm Collectibles version of the Hogan you see there. And everyone lost their damn minds when they saw this. Mattel's new epic moments. When the Hardy Boys returned at WrestleMania, we're going to get Broken Matt, Jeff Hardy, ladders, tag titles. I love it. I love this. I love the idea of this series and the potential it could have. However, I think this is my, like, pre-render whatever thing. I think this is probably the best thing that Mattel has shown off at Comic-Con besides that Alexa Bliss figure. We're getting an epic moment of the festi Festival of Friendship. Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens. I absolutely love this set. You got the painting, the art piece, Jericho in that crazy outfit, and a more casually dressed Kevin Owens. So, like, you, you can use him for, like, backstage segments and whatnot. It, this is just perfect. I will pay any amount of money to have this.
We're getting a new Stone Cold Elite, and I love this attire. I love that he's coming with the jeans, the shirt. I'm hoping it's a cloth shirt. And he's coming with a purple strapped or a blue strap World Heavyweight Championship from the Attitude Era. It's just a belt that he randomly had on a few episodes of Raw, and it's really cool that Mattel is going to give us that. Um, take my money. Here's a better look at that Batista. He's going to come with a WrestleMania 21 contract and the World Heavyweight Championship. I love it. James Ellsworth. Oh, good lord. I gotta get it. Stupid figure. Gotta get it. We're finally getting the Good Brothers. Bullet Club. The Club. Whatever. Carl Anderson. Luke Gallows. I'm hoping that shirt is made of cloth. God, those look, those look freaking sweet. See some renders here for Sheamus with his uh, James Bond suit. Kilt combo. Same as Cesaro here. I'm going to wait to see what these guys look like, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm loving this Braun Strowman, though. I really hope he turns out to be okay. That ambulance door, hilarious. Mickey James, I'm looking forward to her new figure. I got to say, though, um, people were kind of complaining that she's coming with the NXT Championship. I'm not. Even though she didn't win it from Asuka, if it is a scaled-down version, better-painted version of the one that came with Paige, I'd be more than happy to have it. And we're getting the perfect 10 figure. Ty Dillinger cannot wait for that. I hope that vest turns out good. Neville, or evil, whatever. Loving that figure. I'm pretty certain it's not going to be as good as BEW's, but hey, we can hope. Uh, USA Macho Man, awesome. Scotty Too Hotty, one of my favorite jobbers and tag team champions of all time. I cannot wait to get that figure. Hopefully we see a Brian Christopher and hopefully like a new Elite Rikishi someday. But if we don't, I can always take Scotty's figure and make a custom Brian Christopher out, Chris, Christopher out of it. Maurice. We're getting Maurice from, I believe this is her SummerSlam attire, so it's going to match that Miz. She's got the white M Bison hat. I love her outfit. That is totally cool. Cannot wait to get that figure. Jack Gallagher. I think this is an awesome figure. I really love Jack Gallagher. Can't wait to get that umbrella. Hey, Marty Scroll Custom. Might happen in the future. This is another one of my favorites from the show. We're finally getting that Gene Okerlund figure, and it looks like he's going to come with an alternate jacket. So maybe it's going to be like the Creative Superstar thing where you can pop out the shoulders and then put on the new jacket. I think that's really interesting. He's got the classic WWF style microphone, and he's got a light box. Totally awesome. Ember Moon. Ugh. I got to wait until this one comes out. I was hearing some complaints. My boy BEW was pointing out some flaws in it. But again, this was just a render. I'm hoping she turns out good. Now, I am i don't know about this Zack Ryder figure. I want it. I think it looks awesome. I'm totally down for getting a new Zack Ryder Elite. But this is the only photo of it that I could find. And it was from Zack Ryder's Instagram. I couldn't find this on Ringside, on their Facebook page, anywhere else. So... I don't know if this is something that Bill just made for Zack or if it is an elite figure we are going to get. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. Now this is something I just kind of wanted to touch on. We're getting uh, WWE superstars in sort of like a Barbie form. So these are Barbie style dolls that are obviously aimed towards young girls and some adult collectors. And I think they're really cool. I love the outfits. I'm not really a big fan of the scale. I've never been a big fan of the like Barbie slash hot toy scale, just too tall for me. But I love what Mattel is doing with this cloth material. I mean, if you saw the, the Charlotte and the Sasha, I really hope Mattel can downscale those for the seven inch figures. I'm really, really hoping they can do that for the elites. I'm not certain what's up with these ones though. They're all plastic. They're much smaller. They seem to be more like how those, like, uh, the the DC, like, super, like, I, I don't really know what that line was, but, like, the, they did, like, sort of, like, a, a reimagining of the DC superheroes and stuff like that, like, Bumblebee, Wonder Woman, Batgirl, Harley Quinn, and they were, I, I just look at the picture. I, I can't, I don't really remember what they were, so i just rallying off the top of my head, but, a lot of these things look really cool. I love the accessories that they come with, and I especially love this stage that they got going on here. Like, I might actually purchase this stage and make something custom out of it, you know? Like, this could be um, an insane display piece for the fashion police, you know? Van Dango and Tyler Breeze, and all the backstage props look pretty cool. So, I, I don't know. I, I'm loving the creativity in this line. Why the hell is Eva Marie in it? Seriously, cut your losses with this chick. But... 
yeah, I, I'm loving the detailing and I'm loving the accessories that they come with. I like how they're going to have the, the wrestling outfits and then like a summer wear or an evening gown type thing. I think that's pretty cool and inventive. And I hope this line is a, is a success for Mattel. The more people buy stuff like this, I'm hoping translates into more elites, more epic moments and stuff like that. I cannot wait to see where Mattel is going with this line. Um, I'm just hoping that, again, that the sales from this equal better action figures and better epic moment sets and what have you. So I got to say, future's looking pretty bright for Mattel. Um, so that's going to wrap this up. Pretty much loved everything that I've shown off here. Obviously, some things can be fixed and whatnot, and we're just going to have to wait to see how the renders turn out because we've seen some really great looking renders that turned into really horrible looking figures. Now, Storm Collectibles, Mezco, Marvel Legends, I'm going to put up a video for that in another day or two. Uh, it'll more than likely be the weekend. I got to go out of town for work, so I'm hoping you guys enjoy this. Um, I didn't want to post daily what was happening at Comic-Con. I just wanted to get my Chris Jericho Ringside Collectibles figure video up. Uh, that was a lot of work, but I really love how that turned out. And I really just wanted to gather my thoughts on everything that was shown off at Comic-Con. I didn't want to rush anything and, you know, throw something up right away. Just wanted to gather my thoughts, make a decent video. Um, obviously not my best retrospective on Comic-Con, but anyway, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what figures you're looking forward to the most down below in the comments. And I will see you next time.